In this video, I show step-by-step -step instructions on how to install a car harness into your vehicle and what to do if you break or lose any of your car harness components. When you are ordering your Comma 3, you need to pick the right car harness that is compatible with your vehicle in order to get it to work. This kit contains a harness, an RJ45 cable, and the Comma power. The Comma 3 device itself comes with a C cable. Like you saw in one of my last videos, I got my windshield cracked by a rock, and so it needs a replacement. The day before the scheduled repair, I removed my Comma device and all the components that I had installed. All the hardware can be reused. Only the windshield mount will need some new double-sided tape. I'm installing all of the cables and harnesses back to my Comma 2, but the installation process for the Comma 3 will be the same. And also, if you are upgrading from the Comma 2 to the Comma 3, you won't need to buy a new car harness kit as long as you are still driving the same car. I am installing this into my 2019 Honda Civic, and first, we need to remove the camera cover. In order to do this, I have adjusted my rear view camera down and I will remove the smaller cover first. I push it down and it comes off, but also the right side of the main cover became a little bit loose. For the entire installation process, I think this part is where I struggled the most. It almost seems like they didn't seal the right side of the cover correctly after replacing my windshield, and because of this, I'm struggling for about 3 minutes just to get the left side of the cover free. I don't want to use too much force because I'm afraid of breaking the plastic clips that are holding it together. So I push the main cover back into position and I'll try again to remove it in one piece. Now, after it's sealed, I try to push down and forward and it comes off right away and falls into my lap. Finally! Fortunately, all the plastic clips are okay and I didn't break anything. It's important to be patient and take your time. So the cover is off and you can see the camera connector which I need to unclip. On the top of the cable, there's a small knob which I push down and just pull the connector out. Now I'm going to connect Kama's car harness which is specific to my vehicle to the Honda camera. These two will connect to the camera. On the other side is the harness box for the RJ45 cable port to connect with my car's OBD2 port, and the C port is for the comma device. Here's the original clip that I unplugged before. It will connect to the harness and the other end to the camera. Slide these in all the way, and you will hear some audible clicks when it's perfectly snapped into place. Now I take the comma power and the RJ45 cable and I need to push the cable correctly into the port so that it clicks. Now the comma power is ready to be connected with the OBD2 port. The OBD2 port is usually found within reach of the driver underneath the steering wheel. So I'm connecting the comma power to the OBD2 port and I just push it in. It may feel a little bit loose but actually it's holding the connector tightly in place. And I hide the cable behind the plastic trim. The cable will connect to the car harness that I installed before. You can see that it hides beautifully behind this trim. I continue to route the cable behind the weather trim. This takes a little bit of force to open the rubber trim and squeeze the cable in and also around the plastic trim. Just be careful not to damage the cable. If you take your time, the final result will be worth it. It will look very clean and you won't see the cable after it's done. And lastly, let's route this around the windshield. This part is very easy and the cable just pops behind the ceiling cover. You can see it's nicely secured and hidden away, all the way from the OBD2 port to the car's camera. Now we connect the RJ45 cable to the harness box, it just clicks right in. and connects the OBD-C cable. And now I need to secure the harness. When I first got my harness box, it had two-sided tape, but I don't have as much free space as they showed in Kama's YouTube installation video. 
So I need to improvise and just squeeze it in. And here's the other end of the OBDC cable that connects to the comma device. I route this in the same places as the automatic day-night mirror harness, right through the groove in the harness cover. And once I'm done here, I pop the main cover back into its position, and I make sure it's tightly secured along with the trim. It goes back into place just like this. And there you have it, the final product. Everything packed nicely under the cover. The only visible cable will be the OBDC cable that connects to your comma device. Next, you will need instructions on how to correctly install your windshield mount for your comma device. I've provided a link to this information in the description below. If you lose or break anything during the installation process, you can buy new parts separately from Comma AI's website, and I also recommend that you check the Comma AI's community Discord server and their for sale thread, where other members are selling parts. You can also use this if you want to sell anything yourself. The link to join Comma AI's Discord server is also in the description down below. That's it for now. See you next time on Let It Drive.